Vancomycin-resistant enterococci VRE, were first identified in the late 1980s, with the earliest cases reported around 1986. This discovery marked a significant concern in medical communities worldwide, as vancomycin was a critical antibiotic used for treating severe infections caused by enterococci and other gram-positive bacteria. The emergence of VRE highlighted the increasing problem of antibiotic resistance, prompting further research into antibiotic stewardship and the development of new antimicrobial strategies. Vancomycin-resistant enterococci VRE, infections are primarily associated with healthcare environments like hospitals and long-term care facilities, where the root of infection involves several interconnected factors. The most common way VRE is transmitted is through direct person-to-person -person contact, typically via the hands of healthcare workers. If these workers interact with a VRE-infected patient and then neglect proper hand hygiene, they can inadvertently spread the bacteria to others. In addition to direct contact, environmental contamination plays a significant role in the spread of VRE. The bacteria can survive on various surfaces for prolonged periods, making items like bedrails, bathroom fixtures, and medical equipment potential sources of infection. Another critical aspect of VRE transmission is the phenomenon of colonization before infection. Many individuals can carry VRE without showing any symptoms. Although these colonized individuals do not experience illness themselves, they can still transmit the bacteria, which may lead to infections in others, particularly those with weakened immune systems or other risk factors. Patients undergoing invasive medical procedures are at an elevated risk of acquiring VRE infections. Procedures such as surgeries, catheter insertions, or the placement of feeding tubes can provide direct pathways for the bacteria to enter the body. The use of antibiotics is a double-edged sword in the context of VRE. While essential for treating infections, the overuse or misuse of antibiotics can lead to the development of resistant strains like VRE. Patients treated with broad-spectrum antibiotics are particularly susceptible, as these medications can disrupt the body's normal bacterial balance, allowing resistant bacteria to thrive. Finally, the duration of hospital stays, especially in intensive care units, is a significant factor in VRE infection risk. Patients in these settings often have underlying health conditions and are more likely to undergo invasive procedures, increasing their vulnerability to infections like VRE. To combat the spread of VRE, healthcare settings employ various preventive measures, including stringent hand hygiene practices, the use of personal protective equipment, thorough environmental cleaning, and the implementation of antibiotic stewardship programs to ensure the appropriate use of antibiotics. Vancomycin-resistant enterococci VRE, infections can manifest through various symptoms, largely depending on the specific area of the body affected. It's essential to understand that not everyone who carries VRE will show symptoms, as some can be asymptomatic carriers. When VRE infects the urinary tract, individuals often experience discomforts like a burning sensation during urination, increased urination frequency, and possibly the presence of blood or cloudiness in urine. Women might experience pelvic pain, while men could have rectal pain in such cases. In more severe instances, such as bloodstream infections or bacteremia, patients might exhibit systemic symptoms including fever, chills, a rapid heart rate, and low blood pressure. This type of infection requires immediate medical attention due to its potential severity. Wound infections caused by VRE are characterized by typical signs of infection at the wound site, like redness, swelling, warmth, and pain, often accompanied by the drainage of pus. For infections occurring within the abdomen or pelvic area, symptoms can include abdominal pain or tenderness, accompanied by fever and nausea. These symptoms indicate a more invasive infection and necessitate prompt medical evaluation. In rare cases, VRE can lead to endocarditis, an infection of the heart's inner lining. This condition can present with fever, fatigue, shortness of breath, heart murmurs, and swelling in the legs or abdomen. Even more rarely, VRE can cause meningitis, an infection of the membranes covering the brain and spinal cord. This presents with severe headaches, stiffness in the neck, fever, confusion, nausea, and sensitivity to light.
The risk and severity of symptoms are notably higher in individuals with compromised immune systems, such as those with chronic diseases, patients undergoing chemotherapy, or organ transplant recipients. Given the potential severity of VRE infections, especially in vulnerable populations, timely medical intervention and appropriate treatment are crucial. Treating infections caused by vancomycin-resistant enterococci VRE, requires a strategic approach due to their resistance to vancomycin and sometimes other antibiotics. Several alternative antibiotics and treatment strategies are employed based on the specific circumstances of the infection. Linezolid is often a frontline treatment option for VRE infections. Its effectiveness against most strains of VRE and the flexibility of both oral and intravenous administration make it a preferred choice in various settings. Daptomycin, another effective agent, is particularly used for treating bloodstream infections and endocarditis caused by VRE and is administered intravenously. Tigacycline, a broad-spectrum antibiotic, is reserved for more severe infections due to its effectiveness against various bacteria, including VRE. The combination antibiotic, quinupristin, dalfapristin, is also used but may be limited by its side effects and the specific strains of VRE it can target. In some cases where the VRE strain shows susceptibility, traditional antibiotics like ampicillin or amoxicillin may be effective. Severe or complex VRE infections might necessitate combination therapy, where a mix of antibiotics is used. The specific combination is tailored to the infection site, patient's condition, and the VRE strain's susceptibility profile. For patients who are merely colonized with VRE without an active infection, non-antibiotic treatment focused on preventing the spread and monitoring for infection signs is often the approach. Supportive care including fluids and electrolytes, is crucial in managing severe infections or complications. In certain situations, such as deep-seated infections like endocarditis, surgical intervention might be required. Additionally, infection control measures in healthcare settings are vital in controlling the spread of VRE. These measures include strict hygiene practices, isolation protocols, and antibiotic stewardship to prevent the development and spread of resistance. The choice of treatment is influenced by factors like the infection's location and severity, the specific VRE strain, the patient's health status, and any underlying conditions. Culture and sensitivity testing is often utilized to determine the most effective antibiotics for a specific VRE infection.